Hello, welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today's first impression focuses on this. It's a gift set that was widely available in some of the supermarkets in the run-up to the Christmas period. Um, so it's the Folland Nat T1 Yellow Jackets, which I guess is why it's yellow. So this is one of several kits that were being marketed by Airfix through the supermarkets at a budget price. So what do you get in the kit? Let's have a look. It's a red box, so that suggests to us that it's a relatively recent tooling by Airfix's own rules. It should be 15 years or less. Um, it comes with four acrylic paints, a brush and a poly cement, so very much like their starter gift sets. It doesn't say on this that it's a starter set in any way, so we can't make the assumption that this is a simple build, other than it's a 172 scale aircraft, so it's not going to be overly complicated. Um, tells us on this side a little bit of history, we have an image of the aircraft there's only one paint scheme included, but even though it's sold at a budget, um, it's still cartograph decals and it's still an uh, Airfix tooling. So it's not like they've got somebody to make some cheap kit and they've badged it up. It is still an Airfix kit. So skill level one, um, and that pretty much all the box tells you. When we open the box. Oh, and it came with one flying goer. I've just removed it. We've got our bag with our paint and glue. We've got our instructions and our bag of parts. And I think I've actually already removed the paintbrush. Yes, I have. It's a, a number two uh, black Humbrol Airfix brush, um, which will be um, about right for doing all those all those jobs given the size of the I'm going model. to labor on the contents of the bag um, it's got four paints in there yellow gray black and silver um, and a tube of poly cement um, you know I'm not even going to go on about that uh, these days you'd want something really in a in a precision delivery box but there you go air fix it insistent on carrying on with tubes but that's that let's have a look okay. at this our instructions are a folded um a4 um portrait instruction manual that is stapled um we've got some warning messages in several languages a little bit of history and specification again in several languages and that carries on through the next couple of pages we have some uh, brief notes on um, building the kit and then the assembly icons that are used throughout the kit. That's interesting. Record the telephone number of your local hospital or local poison centre in the box below. Not sure I've seen that before, but there you go. Um, it's certainly there. Maybe it's a requirement for some countries, I'm not sure. Okay. First comment is that these instructions look to be the older style. So I'm intrigued to know how old this kit actually is. So I'm going to do some digging and I'll get back to you in a moment. A little bit of digging um, and we've established this is a 2012 tool and that's been released a few times predominantly as a starter set since then. So, although it doesn't say that on the box, it has been aimed at being a starter set. Construction starts with our cockpit. You can see the uh, seat going in there against the bulkhead. Then we've got the uh, cockpit floor, control sticks, um, instruments going in, um, two sets. Um, then we're putting in some um, internal detail, which also incorporates um, the air scoops. Um, and cockpit details all going in. So that should look okay, painted up. Um, then we've got our familiar silhouette system, whether we're having gear down or gear up. Um, so 
slightly different configuration um, depending on what you're doing obviously we don't need this detail in there if it's going to get covered up um, and then as we flip over we're at step 16 so the steps are broken down fairly nicely um, we're then painting the inside areas and adding our simple but built-up cockpit um, into the two into the fuselage half and then bringing the two fuselage halves together um, yet again we see that they're referencing a, a stand that they haven't made for years and then we've got all right okay so a little bit of drilling of that part if you want to put the stand in and then it shows you fitting that part um, building the uh, gear up or down so um, only building it if you're going to be using it. That's the front nose wheel. Um, was there any talk about weight? Is there a requirement for weight? I don't see that there's been... No, I don't think so. In fact, is there weight on the key? Yes, there is. There is weight on the key, but uh, I haven't mentioned that there's any nose weight required. Um, a little bit of geometry around the, the wheels and tyres. Then building up the wings, and in step 23, we are fitting the wings. Uh, the uh, engine uh, exhausts, and then the tail. And we've got two pilots, which is a nice touch. And um, I'm guessing that's our, for refueling in flight or something. Uh, I suspect that might be a glass nose as well, going on with the canopy. They're probably both clear parts I, I'm fairly sure that is it so 27 steps in total doesn't look overly complicated does it but it's broken down quite nicely let's have a look at our decals next so our decals we've already noted that the cartograph is a small sheet of decals um, they look really nice register looks good not too thick and they're nicely spaced out for young hands with a pair of scissors so um, yeah, all good there. We've got our uh, flight instruments there and then the main markings and one or, one or two little stencils as well, um, which will look nice on that um, yellow paintwork. The parts themselves are packed like any other ordinary Airfix kit. We've got a bag with the uh, sprues in and then a separate bag with our clear parts in. Um, in total, we've got two sprues so if we look at this is sprue a so if we look at that first let me get that out of the way so sprue a what have we got we've got the wings here which has got some uh, nice detailing on and uh, not as heavy as some i've seen from airfix um, so that's quite nicely done um, we've got the wheels um, already moulded in with the tyres but they've got some some brake detail on the back so painted up should look nice um, our tails nice and crisp oh no these are the inserts for the wings I beg your pardon the wing inserts there there's um, a little bit of flash around the um, ejector pins so a little bit of sanding um, then we've got landing gear parts quite nicely detailed actually it looks like the two halves of the front uh, wheel uh, engine outlet and then our two figures which have the same same pose yeah there's nothing nothing majorly wrong with what you've got there then looking at our second sprue, we've got the two fuselage halves, and again, then it's nicely detailed. Um, our seats, a little basic, but essentially it's all there. Um, some interior detail, it's a little soft moulded, but given the fact it's a 10 year old mould, it, it, it's not too bad for, for airfix. Um, We've got some interior detail. We know that that goes in there and, and adds some more. So that should look all right. It's always difficult to see what's in the cockpit anyway. 
tails nicely done a little bit of seam to clean up and just see there seam edges are a little bit um, overdone there's no flash on it though yeah should build up quite nicely so assuming that the fit's okay should be should be nice i would suggest there might be a little bit of work to get this to fit together but not a lot of work to clean it up and get the parts ready and then finally we have our clear part which is a single piece canopy so there's no options for open it's just closed and then the little piece there that's for our nose it's all very clear looks nice the molding um, although soft is fairly pronounced so should be not too difficult to paint up unfortunately um, I have a little bit of spidering in mine so you can just about see there maybe um, but you know it's what it is it's a budget kit you're getting a, a budget kit oh there you have it the 172 fallen nat um, yellow jackets um, like I say a budget kit sold in supermarkets in the run-up to Christmas what's my first impression well you know I, I, as model kits go um, it's okay it's not gonna blow anyone's socks off but what you've got to think about is the audience and the and who they are aiming this at and this is being aimed at stocking fillers probably for, for youngsters but I'm guessing like me some grown-ups get them as as gifts from youngsters um, so yeah um, it will build up okay um, anyone with some skills should be able to get a, a, a good display piece out of it anyone new to the hobby or relatively new to the hobby shouldn't have much difficulty getting it together although I suspect there might be one or two um, uh, fit issues that you've got to work through to get it to go together okay but I might be wrong um, yeah I, it, I, I think it's okay um, I don't think we mentioned the paint scheme but it basically it's painted all yellow except for this black bit on the on the tail there um, and it shows you where to put the decals so I think it'll be quite a nice um, quite a nice little display piece and uh, quite eye-catching with it being bright yellow so yeah I, it, it is what it is it, you um, you pay for a budget kit you expect to get a budget kit and as a budget kit I think that's not bad at all really so yeah well you now know what's in the box um, don't go spending 10 quid on eBay forum because they that's just people who bought a job lot from a supermarket and trying to turn a fast book um, you shouldn't be paying more than uh, six or seven pounds for one of these okay thanks for looking in take care everyone enjoy your modeling and i'll see you very soon